Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Limit Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials where in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use swipe gestures within the Objective-C language. Now already on a similar, let's have an example of what we're going to be creating today. As you can see here we have a label in the middle of our screen. Now the reason that that's there is to indicate our swipe gestures. So how these work is our user swipes their finger across the screen. Now depending on what direction they swipe their finger in, we can create an action from it. So the actions don't really have to be anything in particular, um, but what we've done here is when we swipe left, right, up or down, uh, the action that's going to get performed is displaying text within this label. And the text it's going to display is the direction in which it's swiped. So if I swipe up on the screen, you can see the label changes to up if I go down, left, and right. So we've got all four directions there creating different actions altogether. So we've got different, we've got four different actions altogether. Uh, but they perform the same thing, just changing the text of our label. So that's what we're going to be creating today. So already in my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone, and I simply named it Swipe Objective C for the purpose of this tutorial. Okay, and so how we're going to do this is basically not create an action in terms of um, using a button. We're going to be working off the gestures in which um, are kind of displayed or kind of found or recognized by our device. Now, to do this, we need to create these gestures. We need to create four of them and make all four of them um, be used in a particular direction. So what we're going to do first then is go to our main.storyboard where we're going to add in our label. I'm simply going to change the screen size to an iPhone and let's find our label now. So the label again is going to be used to simply show us that the actions are being performed when we swipe. So I'll center that and what we're going to do is add in some missing constraints just simply because it resizes depending on what screen size we're on. I'm going to bring up the assistant editor and I'm going to make sure we're selected on the view controller.h Create our brackets there, but I, that's an action section. And drag and drop, right click or control click and drag over our label and simply add that in and create the outlet for it to be label. Nice and simple there. Once you've done that, we can close our assistant editor, go back to our standard editor. And then we're going to jump straight back into our view controller.h. Whereas underneath now, where we would normally place in our um, actions, we're going to create some non atomic properties. Now, these are going to be our UI swipe gesture um, recognize kind of recognizers in a sense. Um, they're going to be for swiping left, right, up, and down. So we need to create four of them all together. So we do at property space, we have our two brackets, and in between them, we do non atomic, comma, strong. And then we're going to create a UI swipe gesture recognizer there, space asterisk, and I'm simply going to name it uh, left swipe uh, gesture, and then that rest semicolon. So we've got now one swipe gesture available to use uh, within our project. So what I'm going to do is simply copy it and paste it so we've got four all together for the four individual directions, and I'll change each of their names. So that's our right one. This can be our up. And this one can be our down. So we've got all of them in place now. So we can save that and then jump into our view controller.m. Now, all this is going to perform when the view loads, as you want it to be ready um, to kind of um, commit into action at any point. So we have it in our view did load already set up. So I'm going to space it all out now, our view did load. And within it, we're going to set it up. So we've created these gestures. We need now to basically tell them what they're going to do. Even though we've named them left, right, up, and down, they won't do anything near that. That is just a name for them so we can refer back to them. So what we simply do is swipe out self dot left swipe gesture, as we'll start with that one. That's the first one we created. Space equals space bracket bracket. UI swipe gesture recognizer there. We need to allocate it. In our bracket there, and then we need to do init with target. The target is going to be itself, and the action is going to be an at selector. And in the highlighted section here, we do handles. It's what simply we're going to call it 
handles swipes. Now this handle swipes is going to be referred back to as a um, kind of void action statement uh, which will perform the actions depending on which one we swipe. And make sure we have a colon at the end of it, now that the two brackets and a semicolon. So what it's basically doing now is when we swipe it's going to trigger our action handle swipe which we'll set up um, in just a moment. So again we need to copy this and make sure we've got four of it making sure we change each one to its designated name. We've got up there, we've got right, left, right, up, and then finally down. Now, there's nothing else we need to add on to them. Even though they're throwing up errors, it's because we haven't configured them just yet. So now we've got all them set up, we now trigger the same void statement. It's just going to go if the swipe was right, do this. If the swipe was left, do this. That's basically how it's going to work. Now we need to kind of configure our gestures to know which way they're swiping. So like I said before, even though we've called, let's say, our first one left, um, it doesn't know that it has to swipe left. Like I said before, it's just the name. So we do self dot left swipe gesture dot direction space equals space UI swipe gesture recognizer again and we're going to choose the one it needs so as this one's our left swipe gesture we use the direction left add that in and a semicolon so now it knows which way it needs to be swiped so if we swipe left it knows the left swipe gesture is the action it's going to perform uh, based on it and again we need to copy this so we got all four in here oops a daisy as we have four together so it's kind of a repetitive process, but we need to do one for each one. Our up swipe gesture, and then our down. Making sure that we change again the action it performs, or which one it knows it's going to perform. So that's right. This one is our up. And then this one is finally our down. So now we've added those in, we need now to add them to the view. Because although we've created them and stuff like that, it, the, our application doesn't know when to read them, where they're going to be. So we need to add them to the view. So when we touch on the view, it all comes together. So to do this, you do bracket self dot view space add gesture. There we go, gesture recognizer there. And we're going to add our self dot left swipe gesture and a bracket and a semicolon. So we've added that to the view. And again, we need to repeat the process. So we have four all together, changing each one uh, making sure we got all of them added in and there we go so now our view knows all about them they're all set up our gestures know which way they work in terms of what direction they get swiped in we need to now create our void statement to perform the actions depending on where it's swiped so at the bottom here i'm going to space it out so you can clearly see now we called our action here handle swipes so we need to remember that so we go to dash bracket void and what we call it now is handle swipes uh, if you make sure we've 100% got it right we can quickly copy and paste it there even though we spelt it right there oh there we go we missed out the s so we've got handles swipes there and then what we do then is our bracket and then what we do there is our colon which we added in and then our two brackets we do ui swipe uh, gesture recognizer there with the direction Recognizer there, space asterisk, and then a bracket there, and our sender. And we then we do our parentheses and press enter. Okay, so we've got that set up. So no matter what one we swipe now, it's got our link to our handles swipes action there, and it perform this void statement. So now we need to add the actions to perform whatever one we've kind of swiped in. So we do if in the highlight section here our sender dot direction is equal equal to UI swipes recognizer let's start with our left one so if the direction it recognized there was swipe left and then it's going to perform label dot text simply equal that symbol quotation mark quotation mark left and that of a semicolon so you've got it all configured now we swipe left on the screen and because it reads that that direction was left it will display the word left in our text label if we copy it and again paste it so we've got four all together making sure that we change the direction on each one so this will be our right 
we'll have this one as our up. And then finally, this one as our down. And again, changing while it says in our label, up, and then finally down. And there we go. So you don't just have to have the ability to have you know changing text in the label. This is just showing you stuff and where you can place the actions from within the um, recognizable gesture. You know you could even implement this a game in terms of you know you touch the screen and you can move an object around or anything like that, or even you know fancy ways to navigate the application. So now we've done that, then we can simply go to build and run. So make sure we select one of our iPhone simulators, and then go to build and run. Okay, and so now it's built on our device. We've got our label here, it's blank at the moment. But as soon as we start interacting and swiping, I can go up, our label says up, down, left, and right. So we can go all different ways from swiping, and the label will change depending on what direction um, it kind of recognizes. And again, once it recognizes that um, direction, it will perform the action of the direction it you know, kind of recognizes, really. It's quite simple like that. And like I said before, you can you know add this to your applications. You can create games off it. It's a great way to move stuff around the screen or even navigate your application. Uh, it's, it's it's a lot of fun. You can create fun little games. You can create like Simon says swipe left, and your, and your users gonna swipe left and stuff like that. It's a fun little thing to do. And I hope this, this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. I want to thank you all, you guys, for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Hey guys, just before we click off this video, I have a few more bits of information that I'd love to share with you. But just before I do, if this tutorial helped you in any way, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links will be in the description below. If you want more on-to-date and in-depth tutorials on iOS 8, Xcode 6 and the Swift language, then make sure you guys enroll in our complete iOS 8 and Xcode 6 course. The links will be in the description below. And if you guys want to learn on the go, make sure you download our Xcode tutorial application from the App Store where you can get much more than what we offer on YouTube. Again, links for this will be in the description below. And if you guys want to kick back and blow off a bit of steam, make sure you go check out my gaming channel where we have a lot of fun, play with a lot of friends and generally just have a good time. So make sure again, you go subscribe to that channel. But once more, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.